Mechanical thrombectomy is used when patients come in with typical stroke symptoms. Some of those strokes are caused by blood clots in smaller blood vessels, and some of them are caused by blood clots in larger blood vessels. And if the blood vessels that are affected are larger in size, I meaning a couple of millimeters in diameter, then these patients may qualify for mechanical thrombectomy. It's minimally invasive. Endovascular procedure, which means that we go through the groin blood vessels and then advance small catheters all the way up to the neck vessels, eventually to the brain. Through those catheters, we can use several different types of devices to remove blood clots from the brain. Basically, we're pulling blood clots out of the brain with the help of our catheters and endovascular tools. Recovery is not really dependent on the procedure itself. Once we remove our catheters, the hole seals up within a few hours. It depends on how severe the stroke symptoms were or how severe the stroke was. And the recovery in an optimal case, if the procedure goes well and there's no significant brain damage, then yes, we've seen patients walking the next day after a stroke. If there is more damage, then it could take a couple of days and even rehabilitation stay first. We have a system that all of our patients are followed, usually two to four week time window after discharge from the hospital when we see them in clinic, evaluate them, make sure their workup has been completed for the stroke, they are on the right medications to prevent further strokes. The patient is not taken care of by one person when they arrive to, to the Cleveland Clinic, but a whole team. Nurses, ED physicians, neurologists, endovascular specialists are all trained to deal with these situations.